long covid 19 what is it what does it mean hi guys i'm dr santosh jacob orthopedic surgeon and covid 19 physician from the city of chennai tamil nadu in india i have been wanting to talk about long covid 19 or covid 19 which persists with symptomatology and other complications causing problems in somebody who has already had covid 19 and is in the process of recovering why does this happen in the first place it happens because we all know now that covid 19 is not a respiratory infection is it it is a vasculitis it is an inflammation of blood vessels which are large and small and that happens because of the immune reaction we mount to the virus and if the immune reaction we are mounting is persisting for a longer period of time all these spectrum of long covid-19 symptoms such as continued breathlessness loss of exercise tolerance pulmonary embolism by that i mean clots which are thrown to the lung strokes bleeds in the brain and gullian barre syndrome which is a paralysis which happens in the body and concerning my field of specialty orthopedics avascular necrosis of bones has come up as a very important and disturbing preventable complication of covid-19 the national institute of healthcare and excellence defines long covid-19 as anybody who's having symptoms of covid-19 after 12 weeks of infection so if any of you have the symptoms which i mentioned about after 12 weeks guys you need to take help because you are going through what we call long term covid-19 coming to avascular necrosis why do we think avascular necrosis is associated with covid-19 and why is it important for us to learn about it the first thing which i want all of you to understand is that avascular necrosis can be preventable if we know what the symptoms are and if we investigate thinking that it could be avascular necrosis it is the same with any other covid-19 complication for example if you have mucormycosis it is easier for us to diagnose if we have a high index of clinical suspicion and this video is there to help you guys have that high clinical index of suspicion avascular necrosis in general occurs from long term steroid use but it takes about a year in a normal person without covid-19 for long term steroid use to affect and cause avascular necrosis but whereas if you're somebody who has been infected with covid-19 and you have taken steroids it does not even have to be a high dose of steroids in the icu it can even be that you have been put on 10 to 12 days of steroids in order to reduce your symptoms orally and we have noticed that those who have had covid-19 and who have been treated by steroids again steroids are extremely important in the treatment of covid-19 because it saves your life but even that treatment has some complications and this video is going to equip you to deal with that complication so when avascular necrosis happens let's talk about the most common region where it happens which is your hip joint so if you see the hip joint has your femur which is the shaft has a neck and a head so you can see that the neck is the bridge which connects the head and the thigh bone or the femur many times when you use steroids the blood flow through the bridge or the neck is reduced and the head which is the ball of the hip starts to become weak starts to lose its consistency and density and after some time what happens is the shape of the head starts to change from round to square or rectangular and then it collapses causing severe pain guys remember all this does not happen overnight it takes around a year to 3 years in a normal person who has avascular necrosis and it takes around 58 days to 90 days in somebody who has had covid-19 and has been on steroids this starts like a sprain in the hip and most of us think that we had a catch somewhere and it continues then it reduces completely and comes back
I would like to tell you about the clinical history of a 28 year old gentleman who we treated for COVID-19 in the ICU for 25 days and he came out of it. He came out of it and exactly six weeks after we discharged him, he came back to us and he was complaining of hip pain. And when we did an X-ray, we were unable to see anything. Next point to be noted, an X-ray in early stages of avascular necrosis sometimes cannot help you with the diagnosis. So if you have pain in the hip and if you've had COVID-19, guys do an MRI scan because an MRI scan is the only way in which we can identify your avascular necrosis even if it is at stage zero. So what are the stages of avascular necrosis? There is stage zero, one, two, three, four and five. So let us just simplify it. If you're identified in stage zero or one, medications are mostly enough. If you're identified in stage two and three, we need to do a combination of procedures which starts with something known as core decompression where we remove a part of the bone which is causing the compression allowing reduction of pressure in the neck region of the hip and this helps blood flow in that region. We can also use regenerative cells that is concentration of cells from the bone marrow and platelet rich plasma we can deliver it right into the avascularly necrotic area and that stems necrosis of the bone. It stops bone death and in many times it also helps reversing avascular necrosis. And if you are identified in stage 4 or 5, guys, it is quite late and you will most definitely need a hip replacement. I would also like to elaborate once again on thinking that could I have avascular necrosis could save your hip. It could also make your treatment very easy by helping us doctors identified in an early stage, with stage zero or one, where you can be just treated with medication. If you are missing this diagnosis, also, if you're somebody who's been having these symptoms for a few months and you have been ignoring it, this is the time to contact your orthopedic surgeon and go and take an MRI scan to see if you have avascular necrosis or not because if you do not identify it, you guys are going to lose your hip and you will have to be replaced with a new hip. So think that it could be avascular necrosis, do an MRI, contact your orthopedic surgeon early to make sure that this long term effect of COVID does not change your life. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and if any of you have any doubts about avascular necrosis or you want to know how to go about it clinically, let me know, jot down your questions and I will guide you on how to go about it in another video if necessary. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, bye bye.